First, let me start with you, Dion. You are just gonna keep stressing me out with these movies. <laughs> you got me running through my house, <laughs> fighting <laughs> people. <laughs> I'm about to punch the TV in my house with my baby screaming That's in the back because people That's breaking funny. in the house. Yeah. Now I'm black and blue, I'm running through New Orleans. I ain't never even been through New Orleans. I'm jumping fences. That's and good. Running from the police That's with you. That's great. That's what we need. I, I love how intensive your movies are. Thank I you. felt like I was in the movie, like I was a character, and I was running by right beside her throughout yeah, the video movie. Game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's important. You know, I use the term interactive filmmaking, uh, which is a, a bit new um, to Hollywood right now. But I really love making movies that are for fans and audiences yeah. um, to actually be involved in, and sometimes that means that they don't say everything the critic wants them to say and the move and the movie doesn't move the way they want it to move it moves for us yeah. and uh, that's important and you know one of those big things in the intruder that really worked well was being interactive people yeah. were with the characters this movie being the most important movie of my life um, I wanted to make sure everything that I had I dumped it into this movie because I knew I probably had one chance one shot to deliver a movie at this level with a studio and um, it was an absolute blessing to be able to point the camera every day at Tyrese and Naomi. And I feel like part of that experience that you're having and everyone across the country is having right now is because the performances are through the roof. Absolutely. Naomi is absolutely insane in this film. And you can't take your eyes off of her. Right. And being able to see someone like Tyrese actually have this type of performance, I was telling the people earlier today, John Singleton tapped Tyrese. And he is one of the chosen ones in terms of acting, and he's an iconic figure. And to have him in this movie is just beyond words. So, anyways, I hope that Bless answered you. that question. You did. Yeah. Therese, we've been doing this for a long time. Mm. I've been riding the bus with you, singing with you. I, you was my first boyfriend and baby boy. That's it. <laughs> I needed my car back. I love Joey, it. <laughs> you stressed me it. out. I've blown up cars with you That's and right. saved the world with you. But wow. last night watching you and Body Miles was amazing. To see you in that element, it was... I felt you. It was like I could feel your heart in that character. Oh. How was it for you getting into that character and just being so almost like a transparency there? Wow. Um, first of all, thank you. I really appreciate that. For sure. In a real way. Yeah. Um, everything that you felt is what I was hoping that you felt. Because I was actually coming off of probably one of the most challenging public and private year and a half of my life. And all of my vulnerabilities were fresh. I literally showed up with all of mine in my hand and it was like shaking like this. Yeah. And I just, if I had tried to do black and blue right now, because I'm on the other side of it completely, mm -hmm. I couldn't even tap into what I tapped into in this movie. Yeah. Um, but I also carried the spirit of Eric Garner. I thought about Biggie's mom, um, who still to this day has a son who came here and affected all of our lives. And there's too many documentaries clearly pointing out that the police had something to do with arranging and orchestrating his murder. Absolutely. And there's no convictions, no trial, and it's still unsolved. And I'm from L.A., um, from South Central L.A., where my city before me, Watts, was known for the 1965 Watts riots, where Dr. Martin Luther King physically came to Watts to try and stop the police corruption, the racism, the bigotry, the beatings, the murder that black people were dealing with on such a real way. I'm still here throughout the Nip Nipsey hustle. Uh, too many situations that played into all of the vulnerabilities that was captured in this movie. Um, so, you know, in my mind, I just simply asked the question. If Eric Garner was choked by one police officer and there was 15 officers there that witnessed it, why wasn't none of the 15 officers willing to speak out about what they seen with their own eyes, what they're aware of, and more importantly, what they captured 
on their own body cams. Where is the footage? What's happening? So we're living in a world right now where cell phones got cameras and videos and photos. Everyone's ready to film racism, brutality, but it still ain't slowed it down. Right. It seemed like it's getting worse. It seemed like everybody wants to go viral. You kill 40 people out of school, I'ma kill 70. Yeah. And it's going crazier and crazier. So the timing of this movie couldn't be better. Absolutely. Yeah. They wrap me, but I just want to tell you both thank you personally. Thank you for your transparency as a fan, as a radio personality. We appreciate it. It may have seemed like it was a public humiliation, but you taught us all how to persevere and to push through and to keep reaching for our dreams and be that standard. So thank you for being that change, Tyrese. And Dion, as a mother of a three-year-old who told me, Mommy, I'm afraid of the police, thank you for making this movie for me you. personally. Yes, thank, thank you, you so guys. much.